Hi, in this session, we will see how to create a block LV report. Like we can display the multiple internal table on the same report. So in our project, we might have requirement. It is mostly used for the MIS purpose. Like on a single screen, we want to show the different internal table. Okay, so let me show a sample here. I have one sample program. So what is a block LV report? Like on one report, we can display the different internal table. Like here in the first block, I am displaying the vendor master. In the second block, I am displaying the PO number. In the third block, I am displaying the internal table of the purchase order line item. So here I have shown everything from the purchase order table. But in real time, you might have different requirement. Most of the time, it is used as a MIS reporting. Like for a given single day, how many total number of purchase orders are created? Another same report, how many total new sales order has been created? And the third, you can display like total collection. And the fourth, you can uh, display like total the outgoing payments. So depending on the business requirement, you might have to display the different data. The main concept is like the first, you have to sell your data. Okay, so have a look at here. What are the steps involved? So for displaying the block LV report, the first, the data declaration is required. Second, we have to create a selection screen. Third, we have to get data from database table. And the fourth, the build field catalog for each table. What is meant by each table? Suppose you want to display the tree table. Then you should have three internal table. And for each internal table, you have to create a build catalog field catalog like what did, uh, columns you want to display from that internal table on the screen so here the fourth one is the build field catalog for each table then using the function module reuse underscore lv block underscore list underscore init we have to initialize this in the program it will be called only one time and for the each internal table which you want to display on the screen we have to use the function model reuse underscore lv underscore block underscore list underscore append. This function model has to be used for each internal table. And once we append the each internal table using this function model, at the end we have to call the function model lv block is display. Okay, so we'll see the concept. So I created one demo program zdemo underscore lv block list so first i have done a data declaration for the purchase order header purchase order line item vendor master now i want to display three table one two three on my screen that's why I display the three field catalog internal table gt underscore field catalog one type slice underscore t underscore field catalog lv then gt underscore field catalog 2 for the second internal table of the same type and then the third field catalog for the third table okay declare one work area and add one gs underscore layout type slice underscore layout underscore lv and one more table gt underscore events in this demo program i'm not using any events but still as it is a mandatory to pass Declare an internal table as gt underscore events type slice underscore t underscore event. Then, so this is the data declaration. The next is the selection screen. So, here I have created the selection screen using the select options. And I have only one field that s underscore epeln. Okay. The next is the get from the data from the database. So, that's why I have written here. The perform routine perform get underscore data double click here now from the ekk table if if no peer is uh, given from the ekk table i'm selecting to 10 rows okay then from the vendor master enter purchase order line times and I'm sorting the data in the ascending order go back what is the next the important is build the field catalog for each table. We will see here what is that. The perform build underscore field cat. 
now the first always clear all the fill catalog okay now at the first level i want to display the vendor name that's why i'm creating the fill catalog for liftner that is the vendor id id here no zero append the work area fill catalog to, to the internal level fill catalog second column which we want to display in the first internal table is the vendor name okay so here i have uh, in the first table i am displaying only two columns in the gt underscore free catalog one now for the second internal table i want to display the ebln that is the purchase order number that is po number okay add this in the free catalog two the one we have uh, one we have finished here this is the starting of PO details, second block list. Second, I'm displaying the A date. Okay. So only two columns I'm displaying as of now. You can add many columns from the internal tables. The third column, the third fill catalog. The third fill catalog which I am creating here is the EBLN PO number. EBALP, that is okay. EBLP is PO line item. Then the metal code and the metal description. So in this way, we have finished the building of fill catalog. Now the last one is the display data. Now, as we have three internal tables and three fill catalog, how to display that? The very first, as I explained to you, we have to call this function model for the initialization part. Copy this. Okay, go to our program. Click on pattern. In the call function, enter the function model as reuse underscore lv block list in it. Press enter. In the I callback program, give the system program ID, search, check, and activate. Once we initialize, then we have to call the second function model for each internal table. Go to Python. In the call function, enter the function model name. Now, as we have already declared GS underscore layout. This will control the how the layout should require uh, will display. What we'll do, we'll just do the column width optimize. Column width optimize equal to x. Okay. The first in the is underscore layout, you have to pass gs underscore layout. In the second, which fill catalog you want to display? The first is vendor master, that is fill cat one. Third table name. From which table, which internal table data will get displayed? So, in, uh, keep in mind here in this i underscore tab name, we have to do, uh, we have to pass this as a text. Gt underscore lfa one. Event table. Gt underscore. We are not using any events in this demo, but still we have to pass as this is a mandatory. Now output table, which data we want to display in the output, that is gt underscore lfa1, save, check, activate. So this is the vendor master. Second table, which we want to display on the screen, is the purchase order details. Copy this, paste it here, the fill catalog 2, which table, gt underscore EKKO. Now the third table fill catalog three GT underscore EKPO GT underscore EKPO. Now once we finish appending all the table internal table one, two, three at the end. We have to call the final function model that is reuse underscore early block underscore list underscore display. Copy this. 
go to pattern enter the function model name press enter always open the exceptions no need to pass anything here execute if you're not passing anything this will this, uh, this will show the 10 records so we can see the first table is a vendor master the second is a po header and the third one is a line item table so let me pass some particular purchase order number we will see how it works go back pass the purchase order number execute so we can see the two vendors two purchase order number and the two line item tables so in this way we have seen how to display the block lv report using the function model reuse underscore lv block list so in this way we have uh, finished this session of displaying of the block lv report thank you